everyone, it's Tina with TSR Creations. I'm going to be doing an alcohol ink painting for you today on this 12 by 12 inch, beautiful um, two inch thick panel. They're by Da Vinci and I've done them. I've used them before for alcohol inks. I've used them for pouring as well, um, but there's just a nice smooth, slick surface and they work really well with alcohol inks. So here's one I did. Um, it's a bigger one, but you can see how nice they, they flow really nice and colors look really great. So I'm going to do that for you today. Um, stay, saves a big step from mounting your piece onto a piece of cradled wood and then resining it or varnishing it or however you like to finish your pieces. Um, I sometimes frame my pieces. I sometimes cradle, uh, attach them to cradle wood. So this stays, saves me a step, which is awesome. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be showing you how I do my swirls. I'll go slow for that part so you can get a better feel. So I know I've had a couple comments asking me to go slower. Um, but sometimes these videos go so long that I have to speed them up. I mean, I, I'll spend two hours on a piece. I can't have a video that long. So um, I try to keep them, you know, within a half hour at the most. Some, some go a little longer, especially with these. But... Um, yeah, so um, colors, I'm going to go through the colors with you real quick. I'm going to use today, I think, I always end up changing my mind, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using this cobalt blue and Valencia orange. Um, these two are my primary, my main colors. Um, let me try them and then I might add in a little espresso, but we'll see. I think I'm going to do that. And we'll see what the colors look like, but I, I kind of want um, the blues and the oranges. I think they'll look good together. So I'm gonna get started here in a minute. Other things I may use today, I may use my spritzer, my alcohol spritzer. It's just a little spray bottle. And once the color's down before I start the twirls, I spray it a little bit. It gives it just a really cool effect underneath, like another layer. Um, and then for the top layer, I probably will embellish with some um i use this extreme sheen by golden it's just a acrylic paint i'll add a little water to it to thin it out because i have it in my applicator which i need to fill up as you can see but it gives such a nice sparkle um, i may use my white this is just my normal floetrol mixture that i use for my fluid art um, i use some pens i have these jelly white pens and I use them. I don't know. It depends on what I get with my inks, how I want to embellish it. All right. So really happy you're here. If you're new here, please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And um, yeah, I don't even know what else I'm going to say, but I'm going to get started. <laughs> okay. So I just wanted to go through real quick. People have been asking me about this. This is a Revlon stick hair dryer. All my all my products that I use, I usually put links down in my description box, so you can um, just click the link and get it. I don't. It's not like I'm an affiliate or anything like that. It's just I have the links to the products I use. Um, so I have that. I have the Tim Holtz uh, Ranger hand blower. This is like one of my favorite tools. I have an airbrush that I sometimes use. I have my heat gun. Uh, and this has like a cool setting, not cool, but a low setting, which you really need, especially for when you're working on narrow paper or Yupo paper. If it's not heavy enough paper, it will warp with the heat. So you have to be careful about that. I don't have to worry about that with this. All right, so I'm gonna go real quickly. I'm gonna show you how I do, well, when I get to that part, I'll slow it down where I show you exactly how I do the rings, okay? But for the for the first part of this, it's not. I'm not going to be doing the rings. Okay. I was lost in a city dream, and I was at home again beside the stream. Then you walked past me. And you saw me and smiled I will never forget the 
first time When I saw you I thought I lost my mind Blue and faded was blown away and left behind done um so this is this is the part I fr you first put down your inks blow them out and then um sometimes i will spritz it depending on the piece it's not always but i'm gonna i'll do that today so you just want to do it lightly because it will come out quickly um and i don't i mean you can do it up from high just so a little bit gets on there and little in some areas maybe a little bit more in others and then I'm going to dry it real quick. All right. Um, so just one thing about these boards is like, unlike the narrow paper, um, and more so light, actually it wipes up pretty well to kind of, sometimes it depends on the inks that you use which ones will stain a little bit more. I really should keep like a log because um, sometimes I put an ink down and I'm like, oh, it's stained. It, narrow, narrow paper is pretty good. Uh, usually it doesn't stain, but Yupo, oh, Yupo stains a lot with pretty much all the inks. All right, so this is the part where I'm gonna show you how I do the swirl. So we'll start up here because I, I think that'll be a pretty swirl up here. So what you want to do, I have my color there, there already. You can add more color if you want more intense color, and I may do that at some point. But to start off, I'm going to start with my circle. So you're going to use your hair dryer. I use it so there's a bunch of settings. There's a high, a low, a cool setting. Unfortunately, the low setting is hot, um, which doesn't matter for this piece, but it will dry it more quickly when you're making the rings. Um, and depends on, again... If I want the ring to be smaller or in a different shape, I'll use the, more, the higher heat. But generally, I use the cool setting. And it is, um, it's pretty high, but it's cool. Um, but again, on the board, you really don't, uh, it does not going to make a difference because you won't warp, warp your paper. All right, so you want to put some alcohol down. I'm going to put alcohol around the area. And then I'm going to try to basically corral like you would be doing to a cow, um, to corral it into the center of the ink and just kind of go around. And you're just gonna go slow. You don't wanna go over top because then you're gonna go and you're gonna get all those little yucky striations or fingers, they call them, I think. So you just wanna go around and you wanna stay close to your piece. That's why when you're working on paper, if you're too close, you're gonna warp it. All right. 
So I'm gonna get started. It's gonna be loud because I'm gonna have the dryer on. I hope you can see this. All right, I kind of put a little too much on with the corral it in. Now, I, see, I put a little too much ink down. Let's go like this, a little too much. Put it on high heat. more color up here because I want more color up here. And if you go back and forth, you can kind of get a different shape too. Make little ones, or bigger ones, so they just put too much ink down. But I like to overlap them. I hope you can hear me. I don't know if you can. I like to overlap them and give it dimension. All right. So that's that's all it is. Um, and it's time consuming, um, but. I really enjoy doing it. Um, but see, you can see that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this all in. This is kind of my idea here is gonna be all these little rosebuds all in here. Um, so you're not gonna really see much of what's underneath, maybe a little bit. Um, I might do another one over here, a little small one over here. Um, but that's basically it. And um, it's going to take a while. It took me a while to get the hang of doing them. I had quite a few um, paintings that I did not keep. Like I would, I would practice a lot on little pieces. Photo paper is great. The reverse side of photo paper to practice on. Um, but yeah, you just gotta get the feel of it and uh, see where the inks want to go. And you, you know, sometimes it's a little difficult, but you'll get there. All right, so I'm going to continue on. If you'd like to stay and watch the rest of it, I'd love you to. And um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Comment below, and I get back to you pretty quickly within a few days. And, um, yeah, um, I hope you enjoy this video, and thanks for joining me. Bye-bye. I was lost in a city dream and I was at home again beside the stream Then you walked past me and you saw me and smiled The first time When I saw you I thought I lost my mind Blue and faded was Blown away and left behind Forever
forever Loving you has never felt more right Woke up long 